Quote number one. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. This actually means that we are so involved in the outside world that we never take the time out to reflect what is going on inside us. And what is going on inside us is the most important thing because it is only from inside that we can come up with solutions of the biggest problems of our life. We never work on our minds in order to clear all the mess that we have inside of us. We never look inside to see how our thoughts are structured inside our head, what are we doing in the outside world, why are we doing it etc. Quote number 2 The spread of civilization may be likened to a fire, first, a feeble spark, next a flickering flame, then a mighty blaze, ever increasing in speed and power. This actually means that the civilization, which allows the human being to live at a degree above survival level, evolves like how fire spreads. First there is a spark, then an unsteady flame and then an inferno which keeps speeding up and getting mightier. Another interpretation of this could be growth in a person's life also happens the same way. But the important thing which can be interpreted from this is that the civilization needs to produce inventors in order to grow. The inventors are the real fuel of the fire. Quote number 3 If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. This means that there is so much of hatred that exists in human beings. We take everything in a very negative sense. Instead of letting your hate become dominant, develop yourself such that your love, if turned into electricity, should light up the entire universe. In this way, your love will be visible in every part of your life. Whether it is your work. Or your relationships. Quote number 4 With ideas it is like with dizzy heights you climb, at first they cause you discomfort and you are anxious to get down, distrustful of your own powers. But soon the remoteness of the turmoil of life and the inspiring influence of the altitude calm your blood, your step gets firm and sure and you begin to look for dizzier heights. This means whenever you are deeply thinking about creating or achieving something. It is always scary at first when you are not very sure of it. And you want to quit just like climbing a mountain. Then you think about the freedom that you get from working on your own thoughts. How there are no distractions or disturbances. Then you also realize the level of understanding that you reach when you keep questioning your thoughts. All of this calms you down and you kind of start getting that confidence. After that you start to think about even more challenging things. Quote number 5 The scientific man does not aim at an immediate result. He does not expect that his advanced ideas will be readily taken up. His work is like that of the planter, for the future. His duty is to lay the foundation for those who are to come, and point the way. This actually means that a true scientific mind never hopes to get short-term results. Basically, he or she is able to see something that others are not able to see. So other people will take time to adopt the ideas. His purpose is to be able to plant a seed which will grow continuously with time. He or she has shown people the way. Now it is up to them to follow or not. <laughs>